To be honest, I don't even know what I'm going to say in this review. Uh, I don't feel well, to be honest. Uh, I, th I think I I've got a bit of a fever coming on, like my forehead feels as though it's on fire. But um, yeah, we, we were just so, so shit in that game. It was unreal. It it's not even a shock that we lost against Michelin. Like... Oh my god, we we literally deserve this for keeping Dutch Hitler for so long. We 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 really do. We do. Not the fans, all right? The fans don't, but the club as a whole do because what what club keeps a manager that is not scored, well, has not inspired his team to score in the 11 first half consecutive Old Trafford games that has had so many nil nils that has lost against Sunderland against Norwich against Bournemouth again like, no disrespect to any of those teams but come on if you're a team supposedly supposed to be challenging for the title what a fucking load of shit oh even Champions League oh like, seriously, you, you shouldn't be losing against these teams. And oh, to make matters worse, De Gea got injured in the um, the pre-match warm-up. And uh, to be honest, what's even more laughable is his replacement, Romero, was our man of the match. He made, like, three unbelievable saves. So it just tells you everything. We've got 14 injuries, and to be honest, we've got to play so many youngsters purely because we're so naive... And we didn't sign anyone in January. Not one player. We laughed at Arsenal for not doing that in the summer. Bar Peter Cech. They didn't sign an outfield player. And it was so obvious that we needed players in January. And just blind pride. Naive. Just stupidity from the club. Has, has put us in this position. Where our most important um, tournament now. Which is. It, it shouldn't even be. It, it shouldn't even be considered as an option for Manchester United, but it is literally our most important tournament, and now we're losing 2-1 in, you know, we might scrape through, we might somehow scrape through because the opposition is, well, Michelin. No, you know, they're a decent team, to be honest, from, like, they shouldn't be anything compared to us. I mean, the way they played, they were very decent. The Sisto guy who's been scouted by Barcelona, he, he scored a superb goal. Um, was it on on Yachio? I don't even know how to pronounce the player. But yeah, 13 minutes from the end, secured the 2-1 win, uh, which overshadowed Memphis's goal for us. But yeah, it's just, it shouldn't even be on the cards. We shouldn't even be in this competition. Yet we are, and we're playing, like, we, we brought 18 players, and we ended up with 17, because De Gea got um, injured in the training. So we didn't even have a full bench. We didn't even have a replacement goalkeeper, because third-choice goalkeeper... Sam Johnston is injured. Oh, <laughs> it's unreal. Rooney's out for six weeks. So we now have Martial as our only first-team striker. Uh, obviously, Will Keane comes in. We've got Chris Smalling is our only fit first-team defender. Daly Blinn's a midfielder being played in defence. We have no full-backs. We've got one first-team fit goalkeeper in Sergio Romero. Honestly, man... Oh. Oh, I just want this season over. And people saying, yeah, let's sack Van Hal. Yes, Van Hal's going to get sacked. It's too late. Like, I I'm not even happy, all right? If he gets sacked tonight, I'm not even going to be happy because it's three months too late. It. What can we do? Oh, Giggs is interim. Yay, wonderful. People think he's this amazing coach. And yeah, he might be better than Van Hal, but he's not going to close the six-point gap to Manchester City in fourth place. We're not going to win Europa League. No disrespect to Giggs. He's a legend and all that, but he just doesn't... Uh, there's no way he can motivate the team enough in like the space of a week to get them playing consistently like we need to at the end of the season. You know, this season's over. No matter what happens, it's over. And that's why I do not want Jose Mourinho at this club yet. I want him in in summer. I'm prepared to wait three months and be patient because, you know, it, it'll be a lift. If we, if we get him now and we don't make top four or we don't win a trophy... There's not going to be that uplift in the squad. Whereas if we get him in summer, it's going to provide that uplift. He's going to fucking get a clear out, all right? He, honestly, he's the only man we need, but we're going to have to be patient. We're going to have to wait until summer. We need to sign him on a pre-contract, obviously. And uh, whether the club's already done that or they're working to do that, they, they have to, seriously. Even Ed Woodward can't back Louis Van Gaal now. I'm sorry. There's no chance anyone in, that, in our hierarchy can... Come back Van Hal after that, and 
If we don't hire Jose Mourinho, then it's probably just a free fall. Literally, it, that's what it'll it'll become because you know Giggs is inexperienced. He really needs to go to another club. I love the man, I really do. But I would hate for him to become the manager and then get hated because he he wouldn't be able to do what the fans expect because he he's just not experienced enough. You you can talk about Pep Guardiola doing it for Barcelona all you like, but to be honest, La Liga isn't anywhere near as competitive as the Premier League. And now with all the Premier League money and you're seeing clubs like Leicester, West Ham, Southampton, all these clubs actually performing and playing really good football, signing really good players, it just becomes even harder. Pep Guardiola coming in for Man City, potentially Diego Simeone for Chelsea. It's just going to get unbearably difficult. And Jose Mourinho is the only man for us. I seem to, every time we lose a draw, I, I talk about Mourinho. That's how desperate it's got at our club. Literally, I don't care about the club anymore. I don't care about this season. I want it over. We're not winning anything. And we're going to slip down the table. So I just want this season over. I've never been so unenthusiastic, so uninterested and so embarrassed by Manchester United. I love the club and I will never stop supporting them. I'm never going to change team. I'm honestly never. But I just can't be interested in a club that just gives up like there's no enthusiasm whatsoever in the squad and yes the players need to take some responsibility but the man management is fucking dreadful we're losing in a in potentially it's laughable but our biggest game of the season and what's he doing van hal and Giggs are just sat there taking notes like how is that going to inspire the players? They're not going to read your fucking notes. You need to be on the touchline, barking instructions at them, at least get some motivation. Where's the Van Hal from Netherlands? Seriously, he was on the touchline. He was giving RVP high fives. He was shouting, bowling on the touchline. He's, what, two years older? I'm pretty sure the guy can still walk and shout because he talks enough shit in press conferences and all this bollocks. So, oh. <sighs> That's that's the rant over, honestly. Like, I've got nothing else to say. Like, I'm I'm not even expecting us to go through anymore. Like, even though we're at home next time and we've got an away goal, I'm not even expecting it. Like, we've got Shrewsbury next, and I'm worried about facing Shrewsbury. Oh, rival fans are gonna love this. Man United fans, just we need to wait for Jose. If we don't get Jose, then yeah, we're, all hell will break loose. But yeah, in July. We, we need to do the right thing and sign Jose. That's the only thing that is going to rescue us.